Today we are going to be doing the 3D pull through break. I told y'all in my last video, the pull through break, that I was going to be showing y'all how to do the 3D pull through break. In the interest of time, I skipped this step because I don't want my videos to be super long. I want them to be really simple and easy to follow. And I think that everyone can do this step. to do this style is a fresh maintenance put your hair in ponytails down the middle of your head and we're gonna get right into so it. the first thing you want to do is take your first for first ponytail and you're gonna go ahead and get this separated into three pieces boom just like that we're gonna take the second ponytail we're going to split it into two boom and what we're gonna do with these two pieces is we are going to bring the three pieces we have here we're going to bring them back and we're going to put these two pieces in between these two sections that i have open so we're going to grab this middle piece boom okay we're going to bring the two pieces forward okay we're going to grab our two on the side boom see so we've taken our three pieces that we split and we put our second ponytail into two pieces and we brought them through the middle. And then we are going to take a rubber band and we are going to take these three pieces and connect them. Take our third ponytail, pick up the third ponytail. We're going to take these three pieces, okay, and connect them with the third ponytail. Now we have this section right here that is just hanging in the distance, okay? So what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna split this section here into three pieces. Boom, three pieces, bam. We're gonna take the section that we just added the um, hair into and clipped it. We're gonna split this into two sections. Boom. And just like before, we're going to put these two sections in the middle of these three. So what we're gonna do is take the middle, bring it back, take the side, bring it back, take the piece on this side, okay? And we just brought it, the two pieces through the middle of that section. And what we're going to do is the next ponytail we have here, which is our fourth pony. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. We're gonna go ahead and connect that together. And we're gonna continue that same method one more again. As we move back, as we move back, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so boom. We again, once again, we have our section at the front. Three sections split it into three even it out of course split it into three we're going to take this the next section right behind it we're going to split it into two boom okay we're going to take these two pieces and bring it through right here and we're going to take these three sections these three strands and move it on back we're going to take the middle section bring it back Bop. we have our section we're gonna that back that back through the middle and we're gonna take those sections right there and we're gonna connect it to our next ponytail hope you guys can see what I'm doing take a rubber band I only put the rubber band on once there one time I'm really not a fan of rubber bands being tight on my hair you guys know that so what we're gonna do now 
before we move any further is we are going to fluff we're going to fluff this section of hair because as you know as you continue down the braid it may be a little bit harder to you know fluff you know so that's what we're gonna do so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the first section and just we're gonna tug just tug at it a little just tug at it a little boop boop Tug at it a little like that. Then we're gonna take the little middle piece. We're gonna tug at that. <laughs> I'm getting so excited, guys. This is gonna be fire, boo, fire. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm doing the most. See? Oh. <gasps> girl, yes, your girl is doing it again. Anyway, I'm doing the most. Um. And we're gonna fluff this section. We're just gonna grab those pieces. We're gonna pull on it. Tug it, tug at it. Yes, darling, yes, girl. Let me just keep on moving because I'm doing the most. Girl, not never. Girl, tug at it. Who, girl, who, who? Girl, I'm doing the most. Don't worry about what I'm doing. No, oh, no, yes, you worry about what I'm doing, but I'm listening. Listen, girl, listen, girl, listen. Yeah, girl, okay. Okay, so I did the first little section of fluff. Look at that. I know it ain't much, girl. I'm doing the most. Okay, y'all hey, y'all see this coming together. Look, y'all, yo, look, look. Rock with your girl. Anyway. fluffing method all the way down okay each time I do a section I'm going to stop and do a fluff so I'm going to pull it Boom. I'm going to pull that middle section see what I'm doing see those three sections see and see that's why it's the 3d because it's three strands not two in the pull through braid it was two strands but this is three Y'all don't understand how fire this braid gonna be when I'm done, all right? Just rock So we're gonna do that method all the way down the entire braid and I'll get back to you guys when I get to the base of the braid. If you need to, feel free to go ahead and rewind the video if you need so to see the to method again. I just wanted to pop in real quick because for, for all of my ladies out there who have thicker locks and you have longer locks like me, um, to make it easier once you get to the end of the lock, um, to, to toward the back, um, you want to go ahead and just secure your front section right here. I'm just going to use a pipe cleaner. And your three sections that you're adding right here into here, into the next ponytail. Now you see how thick it is. And you see these little small black rubber bands that we're working with. So I'm just suggesting this to you guys because it's going to help. So... Take your section, your ponytail that you're adding hair into, like that. Um, it helps to put the rubber band on at the bottom. Start from the bottom, because this is a lot of hair to put a rubber band around, okay? Start at the bottom, y'all. Look, at the bottom, but it's small. Start at the bottom. See? And put the rubber band on there and just slide it up the ponytail. Just slide it up the ponytail, okay? See? And y'all see that rubber band on there tw um, just once, I meant. See? Boom. See, y'all? See? Got it on there. And like I said, it's just on there one time. It doesn't need to be tight. Done. See? Boom. Just As you guys can out. see, I am down at the base of the ponytail. And basically what you're going to do is, now that you're at the end... You're just going to do the same method that you've been doing down the middle of the ponytail at the end. So we're just going to split it in three. As per 
usual well you ladies already know that when you have locks there are times when our locks are all different lengths as it comes down to the very end as you can see this is as far as I went on the stitch now what we're gonna do what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fluff out my braid and I'm going to secure the end with a rubber band but before I put the rubber band on the end I'm just gonna go Check ahead and do my fluff. braid y'all I hope you guys can see it can you guys see that can you guys see this fabulous -ness -ness? enjoyed this video I had fun shooting this video and like I said your girl came through already again with the three strand pull through braid aka the 3d pull through braid and yes boo it's a beautiful <laughs> But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like this video, share this video on all of your social media platforms. I would really appreciate it. And also turn on your notifications. That way you never miss a video. I'm about to take a nap. Peace. Love y'all.